Let's talk about the five reasons why you should avoid synthetic vitamins. Now, what you need to know is this. There's a huge difference between synthetic vitamins and natural vitamins. They're not the same. Some people will say they're the same. A molecule is a molecule. It's not. It's a different orientation. In nature, vitamins come also in complexes, like they'll come with trace minerals and cofactors and enzymes and associated uh, factors and uh, vitamins. And also when you actually just buy natural vitamins, it could come as an individual part of a complex. And that's a lot better than a synthetic. But there's always exceptions. For example, there is a time and a place for synthetic vitamins, a short-term detoxification program. Totally fine, necessary, because you're using vitamins for a different purpose, to help push out toxins. So that's actually essential, but not as a maintenance. You don't want to do synthetic vitamins as a maintenance uh, because they can actually be toxic. There's a lot of uh, studies out there that show that even vitamins can cause cancer. Now, some of the synthetic uh, vitamins they're talking about are like beta carotene or other phytonutrients, but there's also studies on even vitamin E creating a lot of problems. So when you hear this on the news that oh, vitamins cause cancer, whatever, realize that they're always using synthetic vitamins in these studies. They're not using food concentrates, whole food concentrates at all. The other exception for synthetic vitamins would be the synthetic um, version of B1, benfotamine, okay? This is a fat-soluble vitamin B1, which doesn't appear to have any side effects, but it's great to penetrate the fat layer in your brain, the fat layer around your nervous system, the myelin sheath, to help things like peripheral neuropathy without any toxicity. And some of the water-soluble vitamins are not toxic. They just kind of run out through the body. So I'm not saying that all synthetic vitamins are toxic, but some of them are, especially the ones that are fat-soluble. The next point is that when you take high-potency synthetic vitamins, they can cause deficiencies in other nutrients. Vitamins in nature always come in these complexes. And when you actually have large amounts of certain factors and not other factors, you can create an imbalance because our bodies use different combinations of nutrients. It doesn't just use one fraction. It uses a complex of different things. Synthetic vitamins are basically artificial fractions of parts of vitamins made from things like petroleum oil and coal tar, sulfuric acid and cornstarch. Synthetic vitamins so cheaply and then when you see what they're, what they're charging in the health food store, you're basically going to be shocked because the markup is so high, but the quality is not there. Synthetic vitamins also do not absorb as well as natural vitamins. Uh, primarily, I'm talking about like vitamin E, for example. Also in synthetic vitamins, there's no cofactors or enzymes or trace minerals. Whoops, almost lost that for a second. So I always recommend natural or whole food vitamin complexes. And the way to find that out is on the back of the label. You'll actually read the uh, ingredients and it'll, it'll tell you if it's an herb-based or a concentrated food versus um, on the nutritional facts like B1, 100 milligrams, B2, 100 milligrams, B3, 100 milligrams. They're all the same values. In nature, you wouldn't see the same percentage on all these vitamins. They would be varied. If you're consuming concentrated liver, or liver itself, realize that a lot of people already have too much iron. And if you consume even a natural amount of liver, which is concentrated iron, that could be bad. Plus liver has a super concentrated amount of vitamin A. So you could overdo it with both iron and vitamin A if you consume either too much liver or too many liver pills. And that would be an exception to the synthetic because liver is natural. So in summary, the exception to synthetic vitamins would be some type of detox and menfotamine. Really try to go for natural or whole food vitamin complexes. And if you have to take synthetic vitamins, only take them more on a short-term basis. Thanks for watching.